welcome back to the workshop. Tonight, we're gonna to be cutting down some hockey sticks so that I can show you how we cut them down so we can use them for sled hockey. Thanks for watching. The first thing I start with is my respirator. Then I'll take my glasses, which are uh, have safety glass put in them, and then I use my ear protection. Uh, this these ear protection um, just so happens to have uh, Bluetooth technology capability, and so I'm usually listening to whatever's on my playlist. Anyway, so first things first is I look for where the taper starts in the stick, and right before it starts, I'll make kind of a, a quick little mark and, and eyeball it. Once I, I get to where about where I think that taper starts, I'll put it into um, my miter saw, which is the Ryobi um, cordless miter saw, and just turn it on and go through it nice and careful. And the tooth blade that I'm using, um, the blade that I'm using right here, I don't really like it. I don't like the finish that it gave off. It was really, really rug, uh, rough and not at all what I liked. So I went ahead and, and measured out another length and uh, once I measured that length out, I believe right here I'm doing uh, 17 inches. So mark your 17. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because once you put the stick up against the fence, uh, the fence will keep it square up there. So let's give this another try. Put it in there. And let's. Uh... Oh, I switched on the laser <laughs> so that I would make sure to get it where I needed to go. Nice and easy, just cut right through it. I thought if I cut a little slower with that blade, maybe it would give a better result. Uh, it kind of threw the stick a little bit. I'm looking at, to see what it did, and again, it was super, super rough. So I'm just thinking about how I'm going to solve this problem, and I decided, okay, I am going to change out for a different blade. Instead of using this all-purpose uh, cross-cut blade, I'm going to use a uh, thinner blade, so, or I'm sorry, a, a blade with more teeth. So safety first, make sure to take out the battery so that the saw wouldn't go off, and I'm going to quickly change this, uh, to change this blade out. Like I said before, I decided to go with a, uh, it was actually a thinner blade, yes, but it was the Diablo uh, finishing blade, so it had uh, way more teeth than the other multi-purpose um, crosscut. So once that was changed out, went ahead and went back to what we were doing, so measuring another length of 17 inches. Uh, from that original stick, marking it, uh, make sure that I have a reference point, putting it up against the fence, and in case you don't know, that fence is that back part of the miter saw that you set the work up against, um, that I'm actually holding it up against to keep it square to the blade, so give it one more try, and let's see how it comes out. I can already tell that was much, much, much smoother. Take a look, and now you can see uh, that the ragged edges from the other one, the other blade that I used, and now on the opposite side. Let me clean this up real quick. 
show you. Grab that other side. Okay. Perfect. Nice and clean. So that's what we do for all the rest is just measure out 17 inches and cut it at the line. Um, and uh, when we go to 19 inches, just add two more inches from 17 and there you go. Um, just, you don't even have to really measure it all that carefully because I know um, for me, I don't notice a small millimeter of a length different difference. Um, I mean, I guess if I play it at the national level, you could probably tell those things, but for a rec league, you really, really can't tell those things. So, and I start my pile over onto the side and off we go. And there you have it. We cut down quite a few 17-inch um, blanks. Uh, these were ones that I cut down last season and I hadn't had a chance to clean them up yet. So I'm going to leave these in the cage at the hockey rink um, so people can like size out what they need. And we got five blanks that were 19 inches. I usually do two sizes, 17 inches and uh, 19 inches only because uh, people find sometimes that um, they'll use the 19 and then want to go shorter. Um, so yeah, so I have uh, two sizes, 19 and 17 uh, inch that we keep on hand. And then if people want me to shorten any of them, which um, that'll be for another video, but uh, next video uh, we'll show you how to you see these two are two drastically different sizes. I'll show you how to cut it down and, and make it the size that would be more appropriate for use. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.